Yeah, in the video you can see that sledgehammer the man is using to damage the windows at the museum, costing about $100,000 worth of damage. And prosecutors say that this is clearly a hate crime and there must be consequences. We're just <laughs> overwhelmed. Newly released surveillance video captures 76-year-old Craig Milne as he drives a sledgehammer through the windows of the Wing Luke Museum. In the video, you see a group of bystanders approach Milne and eventually take the tool from his hands. He then sits in Canton Alley and waits for the police to arrive. When you see someone attacked for, for their race or their gender or their perceived sexual orientation, that can be hurtful to people who aren't even in the incident. Court documents released by the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office detail hateful comments made by Milne at the time of his arrest. He says, quote, the Chinese have ruined my life and, quote, they have tormented and tortured me for 14 years. I don't regret anything I did here. When you have behavior like this, it's, it's very concerning. In the past five years, King County prosecutors have charged 294 cases as a hate crime in King County. A racially motivated crime, the museum's executive director tells me he unfortunately knows all too well. Everything from, you know, folks coming in inside the museum to assault our security guard to, you know, this most recent incident. Days later, the windows remain boarded up at the Wing Luke Museum, and a sign now hangs in the door, closed as we work to heal. While no one got hurt physically, I think the message was clear. It was about being Asian in this time. And Milne is currently behind bars in the King County Jail on a $30,000 bail. He is expected to be back in court on October 2nd. Live in Seattle, Hannah Knowles, Como News.